My name is Tamika. This is my channel, Tamika Uploaded, and today I'm doing a spontaneous review of Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Ah! Oh my goodness, you guys, I am so excited to be doing this review. My friend Seth, hey Seth, um, told me about this. I already heard about the character because I'm a part of this. Um, Part of this Facebook group that tells you all nerdy things all the time. And so I knew about the character. I was super excited about her. Her name is, I want to say, I'm not a trust number, I think her name is pronounced Luella. Like, because it looks like Luna, but it has L at the end. So I'm going to go with Lue Lue Luella. Luella, so, someone, someone correct me and tell me. Feel free to put me a link to how it's pronounced Luella Lafayette. Like, I know that last name, Lafayette, because every time I think about Lafayette, I think about True Blood, right? So. <laughs> Anyway, Luella Lafayette, and her name is Moon Girl. And so in the first issue, we learn a little bit more about who she is as a character. We also learn um, how she kind of got the name Moon Girl, but we also get to learn about her biggest fear and what drives her as a character in this Marvel Universe. And I think that that's what makes this an incredible graphic novel. But I will tell you this, I really, really, really had to hone in on 13-year-old Tamika, 10-year-old Tamika, and how she would feel about reading this at that age. And I am telling you without a shadow of a doubt that I would have loved this. This would have been my everything because she's just such a relatable character. I love the fact that she has this cute little fro because, you know, I'm natural as well. And then I love the fact that she wears glasses. I wear glasses when we're in contacts now, but I wear glasses as well as she loves science. And at the time, at one point in my life, I was president of my Suck Me Club, which was a science and engineering club back in middle school. So I was like, this would have been me. <laughs> in my mind, right? In my mind, this would have been me. Now, I do definitely have pros and cons about this graphic novel, uh, more so the cons come from me, you know, knocking on 30 kind of feels. <clears throat> as opposed to how I felt when I was younger, which is where a lot of the, the pros come from. So first, let's get into it. Um, just to give you a little backstory, because to tell you too much about this would definitely ruin it. But Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur is the story of a young girl who's living in, in um, present day New York. And she is struck by a specific illness um, that I, I don't want to reveal. <laughs> um, because... If you've seen um, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., um, that illness will make a lot of sense. And if you've seen Guards of the Galaxy, you will also kind of relate to this. So if you've seen any of that, I just, I don't want to reveal. But she's suffering from something that a lot of people are suffering from. And her main mission and goal is to cure it. She comes across this orb that she feels as though may have the ability to cure her elements and maybe cure other people who are also suffering from this disease. She unknowingly unleashes Devil Dinosaur from prehistoric times because this orb is just so old that it actually travels through time. And so it pulls Devil Dinosaur who attaches himself to this girl and adventures and chaos ensues because Devil Dinosaur is not the only thing that came back from the past. So. I'm not going to tell you any more about what this is about. I really do hope you go in with it with a, I have no idea what this is about kind of mentality and just read it and I really, really want to know your feels on it. Now, moving on to what I loved about this. I think I've already talked about I love this character. I I mean, people have been talking about we need to read more diversely and da 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 da. And I mean, if you need a place to start, this would be a great place to start. I think this is absolutely adorable. I think that I love the fact she's a little girl. I love the fact she's a natural little girl. I love the fact that she's a smart little girl. <clears throat> I love how they brought in or made fun of other more, more popular and famous Marvel characters, one being like the Hulk. Um, and at one point I think there was, you know, a little shot thrown at uh, Captain America, which I thought was absolutely hilarious. So, 
there was just little um, little jabs to other characters, you know, to reel people in to let you know that yes, we are in the Marvel Universe. But I also love the fact that we do get to see what makes her so smart and how that alienates her. Because I also feel as though, you know, in this big geek nerdy world when we were all younger, we felt alienated from other people because we felt like we talk differently or we walk differently or we thought differently. We see the world differently than some of our other counterparts, especially at our age. And it was just so awesome seeing this from a child's perspective. I just really, really loved how she dealt with that and how she was very vocal about her feelings. I don't think that she kept who she was as a secret at all. And it was just like, because you're a little girl, we don't care. And it, was, it just goes to show, you know, that children, I think, today are growing up really quickly. And I think that we as people just really need to start honing in. Like, I remember an article from a while ago that I was reading about children who are really good at the stock market and they were teaching a class on it but they couldn't have the money until they were 18. I was like why didn't they teach me about the stock market when I was a child so I could be raking in that dough. So many thoughts going on in my mind when I was thinking about this and thinking about the world today. We're not too far off from what this girl's actually going through. We have real baby geniuses, as I, you know, for lack of a better term, in the world. And it's just like a nice glimpse as to seeing a different kind of person and how at any age, you know, respect on all levels, you know, is important. So true about, you know, the pros that I felt and how socially I think this impacts the world today. But now I wanna talk a little bit more on the cons. Okay, so I just talked about how smart she is. She's really smart, but I feel as though for her to be smarter than Tony Stark, we didn't really get to see that in this issue. We saw her deduce a lot of situations and come up with different types of deductions for what was happening and her solving problems, but the way they showed it in here was a little bit more elementary than I would have liked it to have been. I really would have loved to seen her like blow my mind. There's a point at the beginning where a teacher asks her a question and her answer was just like, yes, I, I want the whole novel to be this, this moment right here. Like make, make me learn something new. Like, <laughs> like that's what I really wanted. I didn't get that throughout the um, entire graphic novel and that was a little bit of a letdown for me. So I do have to take off a star. I haven't quite rated this on Goodreads yet. Um, but I really, really, really am going to continue reading this because as you read these, she's going to grow up, you know, she's going to go through other um, things that, you know, children her age are going to go through and I'm looking forward to reading about that. And so that was the biggest thing it, in this novel, I think, is dealing with the fact that she's a little girl and what does she have access to and what... Um, do little girls like this go through? There definitely wasn't an absence of parents or adult situations. She definitely, her biggest adversary was definitely not a devil dinosaur. It was definitely adults. And I thought that was really interesting. Everybody who was holding her back from being who she felt like she was were adults. So I really love that part of it. But again, I really wanted her to be smarter. <laughs> And to be honest with you, that's the only negative thing I can truly say as far as how this was written. Now, this is being picky. I don't like dinosaurs. I liked them when I was a kid, which is why I guess this is cool, really cute. But I I was like, man, when is Double Dinosaur going to be over? Then when I found out that the next, I think, issue, which comes out in uh, 2017, <sighs> still the dinosaur. I'm just like, <laughs> Who would not deal with this dinosaur? Because I keep thinking this dinosaur is huge and it doesn't really allow her to, I think, I think the dinosaur holds her back. And he's not someone that can kind of lurk in the shadows while she figures out a problem. Like he's doing stuff and she has to like think on the spot, which I think is also holding her back. So I feel as though that's another reason why she has not been able to show um, just how smart she really is and which is why I'm gonna keep reading 
because I'm really interested in when this will be just moon girl, you know, and not devil dinosaur as well. He may, he may warm up to me. He may warm up to me, okay? Lastly, uh, there was another there was another sort of characters, not to reveal them either because they're they're big to the plot, but I was like, oh, they're not even good villains. Like <laughs> that's how I felt. And I love a good villain, so I don't know that was lacking for me. So anyway, I am probably going to give this a four out of five stars. I thought this was great for all ages. It's, I would agree that the one thing that makes this awesome is that if they wanted to make this into a movie, if they wanted to make this into a cartoon, this is so child friendly and adorable and motivating that I would love to see this on the screen. I think this would be very lovely as something, you know, families could take their children to go see. So, <clears throat> that's one thing that you can definitely say that's awesome about this. And like I said, if I was 10 or 13 years old, I would have been all over this. Dinosaurs and all, because I did like dinosaurs back then. But <laughs> now that I'm an adult, you know, like I said, some of those things were like, ah! <laughs> But if I want more and more, you know, I need to pick up Deadpool. That's what I need to pick up, right? But I love this character. Okay, Moon Girl's absolutely adorable. She's feisty. You know, she has a little bit of a mouth. I love that about her. <laughs> and I'm going to definitely be reading further on. And I hope you guys are going to pick this up. The next issue doesn't come out until January 10th, 2017, I believe. Don't quote me on that. And I will probably be getting it the day it comes out. And we're going to keep going on this journey and see what happens to my girl. So anyway, if you read this, please let me know down below. Let's talk about it. Let me know if it's going to get, you know, spoilery so we can put up some notifications for other people. But also, if you haven't read it, please let me know. Are you going to read it? So anyway, I love you guys. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.